Hello and welcome, my name is Logan, aka Coding Doctor 101 and in today's tutorial we will be going over filling rhythm again but this time we will do we will be doing modulization. So a module or a function is a chunk of code that is breaking down into smaller bits so instead of having one big program we can have a bunch of small little programs that can do it the exactly same thing and make it a little easier for the user. So first I'm going to build a normal program, just straight code, no modules, no, no modules, no functions, nothing. And then we'll go in and we will add those ourselves. So first we will do a declare. Inside this declare we will call it area. We will hit OK. We do want it to be an integer. We'll do another one. And this will be side integer OK. We will output to the user. So open parenthesis, open quotes. Please, please enter the side of a square. Period. Quotes. Okay. Now we have to get this as an input. Input is how we get the information from the user. So we'll call it. So our variable will be side. Okay. And we're just going to output the area. So the area of the square is area. And I am going to use feet just so we have a measurement. And if you remember from the last tutorial, what this is, this is how we add a variable inside of a string. So we'll do you'll close quote and a variable name and quote open quotes and continue string. We hit OK. Now we rerun this. We'll do four and area was not initialized because we have not done anything with area. So we would go to assign and we would have an area and we will do side times side. Now we read on this, we will type in 4 and we get the area of the square is 16 feet, which is the side times the side. So now we'll add a function and we'll call it, we're just going to call it cleanup. And this function, all this function is going to do is let the user know that the program has finished. So we will come down, come here to the two pink ovals, also known as function manager and flow rhythm. We will click it and we will see add, edit, and done. We want to click add. And we're going to call this cleanup. Print. We don't have any parameters. And what parameters are is it's just what we're going to send into this function. And we're not sending anything into the function. So we do not need any in this case. And we do not need a return variable or return type because we are not returning anything from this function. We will hit OK and we will hit done. Now all we're going to do is we're going to do output. Inside of this output we're just going to say thank you. We're just going to thank the user for using our program. And okay. Now if we run this we're not going to see cleanup because it has not been called. As you can see we do not have this. We do not have this shown to us. So what we need to do is go into main and under this we are going to do a call it is under control under this if diamond. So we'll do call and we're just going to do the function name which in this case is cleanup. Now in Flogarithm, you do not have to put parentheses at the end since we are not passing anything to this. But in most languages, you will need parentheses just to show that you are not passing anything. So it's a good habit just to put parentheses at the end. That way you just form the habit early on versus having to try and do it later. We will hit OK. And we will hit Run again. Now when we look at this, we will do 4. And it said we get 16 feet back again. And it says thank you for using the program. So now we saw cleanup. Now we're going to put this 
math into a function. So function manager again, we will hit add and we'll do math. This time we do need a parameter because we want to send the side of the square into this. So I'll call this side just for consistency. And in some languages, if you declare, if you have globals, you can overwrite. So please be careful later on. But right now we don't have to worry about it. We will use an integer and we will hit OK. And we are going to return our math from this. So we need an integer. And I, call, I like to call my return just because it's simple. Well, you know what it is. It says return, so that has to be what you're sending back to the main module. Hit OK. And we will hit Done. Then we're going to pop back to main real fast. We are going to cut this. And we're going to come over to Map. And we will paste. And we're going to change area to return. Now we'll go back to main. So this is one way to call the function, but since we are returning a value, that means we want something to equal that value. So what we would do is we'll do an assign. In the assign, we'll do your variable, which is area. And now we'll do map, open parentheses, side, close parentheses, and we'll hit OK. So what this means right here is we will, as soon as we get side, and we go, okay, area equals math, math in your, and it will send side to math. It goes function, and we're sending data. So it would go to math, and we will have integer side equals whatever side was. In this case, we'll just call it 4. So now we have return equals 4 times 4, which is 16. Return 4, so return, we go back to main, which is, so our return variable is sending what it, the data is stored back to area, which is here, and we will output like normal. And to show this, we'll do 4 again, and we see the area of a square error is 16 feet, and thank you for using our program. That's all for this tutorial. Hope to see you next time. Thanks, and goodbye.